Yes. So good evening, everybody. I'm super excited to be here tonight because the information we are sharing tonight is, 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 is going to be mind blowing. And as I said earlier on, please put up, put up your credit card. We're not going to sell anything tonight. We're not going to pitch you anything tonight. We're not even asking, we're not even going to ask you to join anything. Today, we are just going to share information that will open our eyes to see the possibility of what we can do with blockchain and NFT. And as I've been telling people, a lot of people didn't, don't understand this thing. When you, when you tell them about crypto, they say, no, it's, it's MMM, it's this, is that. It's not. It's, 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 a, it's a platform that have been, that have been developed you know, to change the world. So tonight I have with me on this panel tonight, my friends in crypto world. Let's just introduce ourselves like that today because what we don't want to mention the affiliation to anything. We just want tonight to be pure informational purpose. This information, if you take hold of it, if you act on this information, it's going to change your life. It's, to, it's going to change your financial life for better, that's number one, the, the financial life of, of our generation to come is going to change it. Because a lot of people, we have um, phobia for things, for new things, for changes. And people are, you know, I was doing a project recently and I was telling people this, I said, no, 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 I'm too busy. I, I want to focus on what I'm doing. This, this will not shift your focus for what you are doing. What, what I always ask them is, okay, you say you want to, Focus on what you are doing. When you buy stock, are you the one managing the stock or are you the one looking after the stock? No, you're not the one doing all those things. The stock is there. The stock is just good. It's, it's like um, money working for you where you are sleeping. Somebody said that if you don't have something that is working for you, if you don't have, a, if you have, if you don't have money working for you while you are sleeping, then you are going to find it hard to live in this kind of age that we are living in. You understand it? So, so a, a lot of people cannot even go to work. A lot of people cannot go out to work. So if you cannot go out to work and there's a system that is there, whether you go out or not, is is giving you money. Won't you be interested in those kind of those kind of things? So that is what we are going to talk to, to about tonight. And I have with me, with me tonight, we have about four of us that are, we are going to talk. Me, I'm going to moderate. I'm not going to talk much, maybe at the end of the, the and this thing is going to be one hour, although we have unlimited time on, on, um, on Zoom because we are, we are paying, we, 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 we have subscribed to, to it. So, and um, I have to with me tonight, first of all, let's, we first, uh, we have with me, with me tonight, Kenny Adebowale, Sister Kenny from America. I call her, we call her Crypto Mama because she's so good in this crypto thing that people started calling us crypto mama because she has a lot of people she she's mentoring and a lot of people that the, the she's she you know she's mentoring them and teaching them how to invest in crypto so please can you just say hi to everybody hi everyone my name is Kenya Adebola like you said can you hear me yes we are hearing you like that, loud and clear hi everyone I okay. Sorry, I meet I meet some of them because they are thin. They are, but they are hearing you now. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And um, with me also is David Ayoba Miagbola. We have been on this internet journey for a very long time. Where we are, where we when we used to go from Ushogo to Ibadan to go and do night browsing. <laughs> So we have been on this journey together for a very long time. When I tell people that, look, this internet thing, if you don't make money on it, even if you get to heaven, God will say, why, why, you are you, you are, where are you? Why did it be? Because when, when internet is still growing, your, your heart, your, 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 your heart to know much about this thing is so great that you have to travel from all over from Ushoko to Ibadan to go and browse. So please, can you say hi to everybody?
Hello, everyone. My name is David Ayobami Agbola. I'm happy to be here this wonderful night. And if you're in the afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. Good, good night. Afternoon. Good evening. All right. Thank you. Yes. And I want to also introduce David Ayeni. We have been on this journey together since 2000, 2015, when we bought our first Bitcoin. We bought it together. We bought Bitcoin that time for $500. A Bitcoin in 2015 was $500. We bought it. I said, ah, this thing is, this thing is moving. This thing is growing. So we, we bought Bitcoin together when Bitcoin was $500 in 2015. You know how much Bitcoin is it today? When, so when we are talking about Bitcoin and people are saying, no, this is, I said, no, keep quiet. We know what we are talking about because we bought Bitcoin when Bitcoin was $500. So in 2017, when Bitcoin be, became $20,000 from my 500 investment and I sold, sold some of those Bitcoin, I bought three cars to be reselling. Because you know you you, you can't imagine that, those, that, that kind of thing. Now. So when we are talking of this, we know what we are saying, and we know that Bitcoin is the future of money. But I think it is it's coming, but you will not be able to to talk now. And Ajibade uh, Togun is is going to join us because he said he has, he's having problem with his um with his Zoom. So we are going to start with, and we are going to start. You know, I will leave Kenny Adebowale to speak to us for 10 minutes about crypto in general. She's, she's, she, while we call her crypto mama, you will know tonight. We, we, she's going to wear us for that 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes, ma, to just speak about crypto in general. Your view about crypto, where crypto is going, how, how where crypto is going, and the future of blockchain. Over to you. Am I am I allowed to share? Yes, you can share. Yes, I've, 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 you can share your screen. Yes. Great. Can hope you see? We are seeing it. Hope this slide will not be more than ten minutes. Old. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We have different types of, my name is Kenny Adebo Alek, like you, you rightly said. And um, uh, we, this is just an introduction to some of us who are not um, aware of uh, crypto or cryptocurrency. I have my, my name is Kenny Adebo Alek, like I said, like he has already introduced me. And uh, I'm one of the directors in Kenola Enterprises. And um, I have masters in health administration, I'm into health field. I have a HND in business administration from Lagos College. I presented in MSMG USA before in Trinity Heritage Investment in USA and also in South Africa. Um, I've also presented in Pool of Wealth Training Company in South Africa, also the coaching networking in South in Nigeria. Let me say this, this is my disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just passing the information that I'm privy to know to um some of us to to you and to you, to the people on the platform so i would advise that everybody should do their own um their own research please do your own research don't take my word but it's just a privilege of the information that i have that i'm passing to us so we are going to look into the introduction of the world of the currency cryptocurrency we are in it we are in the age um, that a lot of people will miss out in this chance. I always say to people that cryptocurrency is an opportunity that God himself allowed people like you and I to come in contact and to dive into, and then you can, you can become a millionaire in a ticket overnight if you know what you're doing. Um, um, cryptocurrency is a technology that I has changed many people's life, so many people. Um, it communicates and it's a, it's a way of, uh, right now you can use cryptocurrency to purchase or to buy your goods. Some cars are taking it, some 
schools, they are using it to pay, uh, to pay their bills. Companies and consumers don't always, you know, prefer cash anymore. Even in America where we are, you, you hardly can see people with cash. Back in the days in Nigeria, when people will have a lot of money at home, but right now, a lot of people have cards and there are some cards that you can put your crypto in on it and you can just swipe it. So with this quick wave of smartphone and other consumer can pay for any item at digital register. It's very easy. We are in the digital world. There's no way about it. It's either you and I will come to that realization and know that Oh, we are not hearing you. And this um, started as back as uh, 2008. Have more than 9,000 different types of cryptocurrencies. That was why I actually used some of the logos. Uh, at the beginning of it, uh, we have over 9,000 uh, cryptocurrency. So research have shown that most people have heard about cryptocurrency, but they don't fully understand. Like he said earlier on, he said some people think it's like uh, MMM, so it's a scam and all that. It's not a scam. You can hear his testimony when he said in 2015, he bought crypto Bitcoin for 500,000 and in 2017, he sold it for $20,000. It is true. It is very true. So what is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that can be used to buy goods, like I said earlier on, um, but uses online ledger with strong cryptography to secure online tra transaction. Unlike a traditional way where you have a lot of books, uh, ledger books, where you record your transaction, buying and selling and all that, you can't do that anymore on digital currency. Um, it's just they use crypto, cryptography for that. So much of the interest of these unregulated currencies is to trade for profit. With time, diving prices skyward. Um, today, like you said, today, if I check the price for Bitcoin, it's over $40,000. And about two, we are in August. Early last month, early late last month, July, the cryptocurrency was like thirty something thousand dollars. So you can imagine if somebody bought it at thirty two thousand dollars or thirty four thousand dollars, and the person decide to sell now, it would have made over ten thousand, you know, dollars on on one Bitcoin. So cryptocurrency works using a technology called blockchain. So block, that blockchain is, is said that nobody can tamper with it. It's a decentralized technology spread across many computers that manages the records transaction. So it is, it is digitalized. It is it's, it's a centralized technology that nobody can tamper with it. I said uh, in one of my, most of my presentation, I always tell people that I personally believe that the person that actually set this up, must be an angel. I'll tell us why I, I, I always say that. Part of the appeal of technology is its security, is very secure. That's why no government, some of us are from Nigeria, we know that sometimes they go, government try to ban it. They cannot ban it because they did not create it. You can't control what you don't have control over. So they can, they can just say whatever they want to say, but they don't know how to get into it and how to control it. You no, know, even in America, America does not have control over the blockchain. That's the beauty of it. That's why I, that's one of the reasons why I always believe that it is God that established it. Um, there are hundreds of different types of uh, cryptocurrency in the circulation. Like I said to us, we have so many, but Bitcoin is the first one, which was developed in 2019 by a programmer using the ceremony uh, Satoshi Nakamoto. They don't know where the person is and they, they come to conclusion that, okay, maybe those people or this set of people, their institution, they don't know whether it is one person or two people. But if something was established in 2008 or 2009, it's just how many years down the line. The person must be existing, but nobody knows where they are whereabouts. 
whether it is one person or two people. That is why I personally believe that this person or these people, they must be an angel that God has um, uh, God has given the uh, power to set it up for us, for people like you and I. So um, in 2008, white paper entitled a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. That's when they established it in 2008. That I also provides uh, the first description blockchain and that blockchain is still there today. And the people are just building on it. Uh, after the crypto and Bitcoin, other people have developed other coins like uh, Cardano, like Ethereum. Ethereum today is like 300 and something thousand, but I can tell you and I can guarantee you that in the, ne in the nearest future, that $3,000 of Ethereum will worth 50,000. So this is an opportunity for anybody to dive into this blockchain is a technology that is that enables cryptocurrency to work like government issued fiat currency just like uh, the eu um dollars the eu naira the eu rands without the involvement of any central bank or trusted third party that is the beauty of it it is peer to peer if i am here in america if i want to send um cryptocurrency maybe bitcoin or ethereum to um uh, mr Yinga, all i need to do is to get this wallet address and on my computer send social amount to this person and straight it goes to him without anybody interference nobody will know what i've done it is between the two of us specifically blockchain solve the double spending problem you will agree with me that if you send money through banks the bank will charge you the bank that i'm using from america to send the money to south africa will charge me um the the uh the reserve bank that would take the forest the forest the forest that would take the my my foreign currency and convert it to local currency they will also charge and his bank in south africa by the time they would dispose the money they also charge so you can imagine how that's how the banks anyway they are making millions of money from from the regular people like you and i since digital information is easily copied, digital money requires mechanical mechanism that will reliably pre prevent a currency unit from being duplicated, or otherwise spent more than once. So in that instance, if I'm sending money to him, all I need to do is to get his correct wallet address. If the wallet address is wrong, definitely he's not going to be able to get it. And no, maybe somebody else has the owner of that wallet address. That's where the money is going to. But if I get the police our wallet address and I send it to him, nobody will interfere. It will go straight to him. The global financial system as collective entity as historically as historically been responsible for establishing and ensuring it, the legitimacy of monetary transaction, which is not in the case of cryptocurrency. The validity of the cryptocurrency is established and maintained without any involvement of world central banks. Instead, ledger of currency of cryptocurrency transactions are publicly maintained. Um, but unlike the most publicly kept records, which are vulnerable to hacking and modification, transactions verified by blockchain technology are immutable. It means that you cannot change it. Ledger, you can change it. You can, uh, you might want to send 1 million rands or $1 million. Somebody might decide to add another zero, make it 10 million. So it's easy. But in this case, it is not, you cannot tamper with that. You cannot do that. So let's move on. How does it work? How does it work? To make a crypto currency transaction, you need a wallet, like I said, uh, earlier on, you need a wallet for that transaction correction. So if I'm sending Bitcoin of $10,000 to him, all I need to do is to get his Bitcoin wallet address. And from my own Bitcoin wallet address, I'll be able to send him the money directly. So crypto wallet address doesn't hold any currency. You can, it's not something that you can see physically, but it's all digital. It merely provides address for your funds on the blockchain. So the blockchain will be the one to do the transaction, to do the coding and all that. Uh, cryptocurrency wallets are in, also include private and public keys that enables you to complete security transaction. That's why um, they, pre they prevent um, 
anybody from tampering into my wallet address that if I have my private key and my private key is, is, is known to me, I cannot give it out and nobody can hack into it because they will need my private key to be able to get into it. And if I don't give my private key to anybody, nobody will get into it. And if I lose my private key, that means I will not be able to access that money or that crypto. Uh, a lot of people have lost thousands, millions of money just because they couldn't remember or they have lost their private key. So it is very essential for you. If you are coming into the world of cryptocurrency, make sure you keep your private uh, key. I'll keep it very well where you cannot lose it. Hello. Thank you so much. <laughs> I knew when I saw your slide that it's going to, you are going to take more than 10 minutes. Please, I'll give you two more minutes. I'll give you two All right. Minutes. Let me just, let me just, I've, I've talked about uh, blockchain. Blockchain is where all the transaction is being done, peer-to-peer, um, one-on-one -peer, -on -one and all that. So at this point, this guy said something that the things you regret most in life are the risks you did not take. So we need to take risks. Um, this is my contact number. If anybody wants any more information on cryptocurrency, you are free to call me. So if there's any question or a uh, question at the end of the day, I'm here to answer. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please, can, you, can you remove your slide? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a powerful one. That's why, that's why we call you Crypto Mama. <laughs> that's why we call you Crypto Mama. Now, but uh, it's time for you. Your 10 minutes to start counting now. Let's see. Hello, everyone. Good evening. And uh, once again, my name is Ayobami, David Ayobami Agbola. I happen to be an uh, info premium, and uh, I'm uh, a programmer. And uh, recently, I've completed my blockchain uh, technology course. I have an uh, opportunity to uh, be in a, an early uh, trader when it comes to cryptocurrency and uh, as the the convener has said when he talks about internet it's been it's been long that uh, we have been on it but uh, the joy of it is that uh, we can't stop enjoying the best of the internet it has uh, brought us a lot of goodies and there is still more goodies when it comes to internet. Um, I just want to quickly uh, bring to us a little bit of understanding about what we call blockchain. When we talk about blockchain, we can refer to it as like the internet to communication. You know, before the advent of internet, communication is a little bit uh, redundant. Let me use the word redundant. It is not as effective as it is. I could remember those days that when you want to send messages, uh, it, it takes a lot of time before you can get the information to the people. But the moment the internet comes on, on the scene, we found out that the communication can be so easy and it can be so convenient by, via the internet. So what internet is to communication is also is what blockchain to transaction. What blockchain has brought to do, has come to do is that it has come to make transactions convenient, available, easy, like ever before. So when we talk about blockchain, it is simply put, a decentralized database. When we're talking about, because when some people hear the word blockchain, blockchain, their mindset, their mind goes to some things. They think it's something that is so far-fetched. But in a simpler form, 
blockchain is a decentralized database. That means there is no particular, there is no one central database, which means the same information that I have on my computer, I can, someone else is having it in all places. So which makes every one of us to have a, an easy access to whatever information that we are requesting. So when we talk about blockchain, what do we need to know? Uh, blockchain has totally broke, uh, cut off what we call central man. And that is why today, many people, they, when they hear the word blockchain, they think cryptocurrency is only the blockchain. No, let me use internet as an example again. You see, when the internet came, came first, there was no video, there was no audio. It was a static uh, information uh, platform. But as time goes on, the internet introduced what we call video and audio. That is why you see today, you can use Instagram, you can use YouTube, all those stuff. So when we talk about blockchain, blockchain has a lot of uh, aspects that many people that have never take notice of. And when people hear about cryptocurrency, they quickly conclude that that is the blockchain. Cryptocurrency is just one leg or one unit that is making use of blockchain. And once we understand the blockchain, we will see that there are many advantages that can help individual, corporate organization, government, whatever you are doing, you can apply blockchain because it's a technology that has come to make living convenient, make transaction easy for every individual. Let me quickly give us a bit, a, bit, a brief background about things that you need to know about blockchain. Do, do we know that blockchain is projected that by the year 2024, is going to become a 20, $22 billion industry? That is the projection. Because if you look at it today, internet, 50% of the people of the world population still have, they have access to the internet. And only 0.5% of the world population is using blockchain. What does that mean? This means there is a long way. There is a broader way for blockchain. I took it and I told the manager, I said I want to come There is a broader way for the blockchain. For instance, the major, major player of the blockchain today are IBM and the Microsoft technology. And this industry has a lot of goodies that each one can enjoy. So when we talk about blockchain, we're talking about a decentralized database that makes transaction convenient so that you won't need any intermediary to obstruct or to, uh, to charge you on your transaction. So blockchain is block, is the, derived from the word block that is connected together. So when we talk about blockchain, your computer, my computer produces one node which connect one uh, connect each other person together. For instance, today, look at the issue of internet. You stand inside your room and you can assess the information. And the moment you assess an information, that information is stored on your computer. And as a result of that, that information can still be retrieved back the moment you open up back to the internet and put the information. So, what blockchain is doing is that it's giving everyone a leverage grant. That means everyone, both the individual 
corporate organization, government, authority, whatever it is, everyone can have access to the same uh, information. This has broken what we call bureaucracy. This one has removed all the uh, authority that the government used to have in order to control the development for the, I mean, the transaction for the people. So when we talk about blockchain, it, it is, is still a big uh, for everyone to enjoy. So the, why do we use blockchain, for instance? Because it is a decentralized and a trustless uh, system. Organizations will give you 1,001 reasons why you cannot do a particular thing, or they will give you rules and regulations to, to restrict any individual who wants to make a, a, a very simple transaction. But with the help of blockchain now, it has made it easy for each one to make a transaction and that cannot be altered. That is why you will notice that when we talk about, when our sister is talking about cryptocurrency, one thing is that once you transfer any amount of uh, crypto from your wallet, it is difficult for that crypto to be refused back and even it cannot be traced. Why? Because each crypto, when it's being transferred, there is one block or one dot. Like they will tell you that they, it takes millions of dots to make a picture. When, if you can remember when they said it takes a millions of, of a dot to make a picture, we should know that blockchain works in that format. It's in that pattern that it's just one block that one each minute. person is contributing, putting together. That one, is what makes one minute to go. Because all right, sir. That you, you talk and uh, I just want to also before I close, just round up. I want to, I want to round up that to say that yeah. blockchain is very dependable data. Your data is secure and it is dependable. You can always have access to it whenever you want to have access. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, share this with the people. I believe that if anybody has questions to ask about blockchain, uh, we'll be available to answer them. Thank you once, once again for this opportunity. Yeah, thank you so much for your for 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 giving us what blockchain is all about, and uh, um, you have you have taken us to science class because we want we want we want we want I, I want to say it in a layman language, you know, blockchain is just like tying ropes together, rope that cannot be broken all over. You understand it? So when you when you connect one rope to another, that rope is just going over, over, over like that. So that when you put something on that rope, okay, that rope, we, the, the transaction you, you send to that rope will get to the end of the other side of the rope that is going. You understand it? Because sometimes people, we need to let people understand yeah, the, the, the layman language. I'm not saying that people that are here tonight, we don't know what they, they know what, what we, we, we understand what blockchain is. Now I want to, what I, before I call on the next speaker, what is the benefit of all this blockchain to every one of us that were here tonight? And the benefit is that we have to embrace this thing now because the future, the future of everything is in blockchain. Everything, you know, he was saying, he said blockchain is not We can't hear you again, it's not loud. Okay, are you hearing me now? Are you hearing me now? Uh, just faint, we can't hear, I can't hear you, but it's very faint. Okay, okay, let me, let me, let me go quickly. So, what I'm saying in essence is that Blockchain is the foundation. That's why they call it Web 3.0. Internet is Web 2.0. Is Web 2.0.
blockchain is web 3.0 and everything is being done from the blockchain it started from with with uh, bitcoin we have like like kenya debo ali said we have thousands of crypt, uh, cryptocurrencies so and apart from that there's a new key, key of the block and that is the purpose of this thing tonight which is nft i said nft which is the future of blockchain nft is what we call non-fungible tokens I'm, I'm still going to talk about that and uh uh Debbie Ayani also is going to talk about that now but what what is in each for us what why we are doing this tonight that will say that you know we are not selling anything to anybody tonight we are not saying we should you know join us pay money or anything we are just want to enlighten us about this new new age we are going in because people people won't believe that what the internet is doing people won't believe that internet can 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 do that and internet alone has made people billionaire overnight and the what internet can what the internet can do is just a tip of the iceberg what blockchain technology will do it's just tip of the iceberg of what block we do so that's why we are saying that we need to embrace this. Now, I want people to embrace it. I don't want us to close ourselves to it. Okay, now let, for example, somebody last year bought an iPhone for $900. He bought an iPhone for $900 and he's taking picture with back, 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 back. Another, his friend took that $900 to buy a fraction of Bitcoin. So the nine hundred dollars that that guy used to buy iPhone, that his friend now used to buy Bitcoin, that Bitcoin has given this guy five thousand dollars, and he's still going to grow. I'm not saying you should not buy phone, you understand it, but this is a, is a true life story of two guys, friends. One bought is uh, in America because they said this. They, they said the low level, uh, the, the um, low entry one for nine hundred dollars. His friend bought nine hundred dollars iPhone and is snapping himself, <laughs> using it to to chat and do everything. And this other guy used that on nine hundred rand, nine hundred dollars to do what? To buy Bitcoin. His Bitcoin was now worth five thousand dollars. And if you just leave it like that, and just keep on looking, going. That's in, in, in life, in like Kenny Adebayo said, he says it's like an A is that God that created this thing because it, this one has opened the the world. He has leveraged everybody together. If you are wise and you know this thing, this thing can take you to where our 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 father have never been. You understand it? This this technology would take us from, from, from zero to hero. You understand it? So, so instead of, if I, I want people to embrace this thing, it's it, in, in, in the 10 years of, I did the research, 10 years of all other assets, all investment assets all over the world, be the gold, platinum, uh, stock and everything. Bitcoin, as volatile as it is, going up and down as it is, beat every one of them hands, hands down. So I was talking to a friend. The friend said, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not interested. I, I, I'm interested in stock. I said, you don't know what, you don't even know what you are talking about. You don't know what you are talking about. You want to compare stock to cryptocurrency? The stock people bought in 2000, uh, 2011, for one thousand dollars, can only work today. Can only work about fifty thousand. No, it won't even be like ten thousand dollars. But the the crypto of one thousand dollars in two thousand eleven today is twenty eight million dollars. So this is what I want to open our eyes to see. You understand it that when when. And okay, let me let me quickly finish with this. 
People say, no, but I've been doing crypto, they are scamming me. Don't give money to anybody to invest crypto for you. You, you have many platforms where you can buy crypto. If you don't know, ask us, we'll show you where to buy. Just buy and hold. It's like planting cocoa. Where you plant cocoa now, wait for, wait for, for, for years. Two years ago, I was telling all my friends, buy XRP for $200. I said, in 10 years, I guarantee you, you have $100,000. And a lot of them bought it. You started. Although, XRP is going because they have problem with U.S. government. But the moment they finish that court case, overnight, that's $1,000. <laughs> XRP they bought, one thousand. Well, that's one thousand XRP they bought. We give them in, in overnight. We give them ten thousand dollars, and they bought it for two hundred dollars. So that is what we are saying yeah. about this thing. That's where we we brought this meeting to open your eyes to see that no, even if I have a little money, I can still invest and wait, and it's going to give me money in the future. So I will rest with that. I think by. 10 minutes is off. Now I'm calling on David Ayer now to share with us on blockchain and NFT. But you should, you should drive mostly on NFT because uh, a lot of people have talked about a blockchain. So over to you, sir. Are you there? Yes. Good day, good afternoon, good morning around the world, wherever you are. I know you may not be able to see me or you are seeing me, whatever the case is be. <clears throat> Just don't mind, it's the internet and whatever is going on. Uh, I've been really enjoying myself. All the conveyance have been so wonderful, wonderfully loaded. And I believe this is going to be the beginning of a great thing in the life of every one of us. Quickly, I'm going to dive into what I have for us today because we don't have much time. I believe everybody can see, please just signify if you can see my, my screen, all the gurus in the house. Yeah, you can see. Oh, great. Uh, uh, my topic is uh, the concept of blockchain relative to ledger and NFT value enhancing. <clears throat> and I believe a lot have been talked about blockchain. So it's just a little thing I'm going to be adding to what they have said. Like all what they have said, number one, blockchain is the next main thing in the world of the, in the digital world. Blockchain, blockchain is the three pointer. We call it three point two. Where the internet is, three is two point zero. So the difference of these two things is that the integral part of the Internet of Things is blockchain. And I'm going to first of all let us understand where we are coming from. Uh, generally, we all know the Internet of Things, I believe, for some of those people that are joining us, when we are talking about Internet of Things is the, the network, the networking of, of different objects, whether virtual objects, devices, software, uh, sensors, for the purpose of data exchange and services. I'll come again. I mean, the Internet of Things is where we bring objects together, like what you are seeing on your screen right now. Object like people, uh, services, businesses, location, and equipment, and anything that is, you can see, connecting it to different devices. And those things are, 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 are possible through software, sensors, apps, and all of that. Uh, uh, Hardware. So this is what is called the Internet of Things. This is what every one of us is used to. Uh, most of the conveyance, uh, uh, they have spoken much about the internet and uh, the difference between the blockchain. So I'm just making us to understand the difference. So and what is the blockchain itself, or how does it work? The blockchain cannot cannot stand aloof of Internet of Things. It's just the integral part, the I part of internet. So when you are talking about internet, 
we are saying we are moving to the next level of internet, which is blockchain. And how does blockchain work? Blockchain is just a transaction complete. Whereas most cases on internet, most of the transactions are not totally completed without some each left, right, and center. But in case of blockchain, blockchain brings a complete circuit of transaction with less ambiguity, with less cost, and very effective. So I'm going to be talking about the concept of this, uh, of this blockchain. Number one, one of the first concept of blockchain is, to val is validation, is to validate your transaction, to make to, to the authentication of your transaction. On internet of things, or what you call computer, for example, when you send an email, your email you copy on your on your on your on your system. The message you send on your WhatsApp will leave a copy, no matter what you forward, it will leave a copy. So that means duplication is possible. But why on blockchain it, it tidy up that area of duplication? There is no duplication. The only thing that is possible in blockchain is division. Fraction is possible. I, I believe every one of us are. Uh, are getting me right now is fractionable but not copyable. You can't copy it, and because of the copy, that is why we have a lot of duplicates and insecurities coming in on internet. But now in blockchain, I'm telling you, you are secure. Blockchain brings us security. Now, another thing that is very important about the concept of blockchain is the people that are involved in blockchain. Who are the people that is involved in blockchain? Like uh, uh, Mr. Yobami said, it's just a common person like you. Your 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 laptops, your devices, your macrons put together, and they are they are solving problems. What are the problems they are solving? Ledger problems. Ledgers are documents like uh, uh, when you are talking about uh, ledgers. For some of us that understand what uh, bookkeeping is, ledger is just like a, a, a common word we call receipts that takes that stated all the details of a transaction. That ledger is what they use in the modern day bank banking to move money from one bank to another. But like the most of those uh, first conveyor have said, there could be alteration, there could be there could be delay, and there could be there could be disappearance of that ledger. That ledger can disappear. And that's why most of the time you send money on MoneyGram and they will say they can't find your, your, your ledger. When they can't find your ledger, they will say the money is not, you can't receive the money because <coughs> of, your, of your transaction cannot be found. But when we are talking about black, blockchain, this cannot, it cannot, it's not possible because it's an end-to-end -end seal. Why is this not possible? Because those people that are working, uh, 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 the simple people like you and me that are working, through all those various gadgets called the miners, they tidy up this. And when the miners are busy working, they solve problems. They solve the problem of transferring one ledger to point A to point B. If you see what I'm showing to you presently now on the on the on the on the PowerPoint, you will see from point one, you can find where the the, the house is, the transaction is going to to the to to another service provider with the with the, with the <coughs> automatic uh, the autom automation from the automation to another technician from there it goes to a transporter all these things can be in different location but because in blockchain all these things can also be together number one they will be what we call public uh, public ledger which everybody can see it is referred to as public key. On that blockchain where you have public key. Public key is the evidence that this ledger is transparency. There's a transparency, what, what is happening from point A to point B to point C, point D and E and F will be known to everybody. And at the same time, this same miner, as they are solving this problem with all their computer gadgets, they also produce what we call private key. That is when all those problems have been solved, the private key is used used to note it down. And the private key belongs to the person that the transaction belongs to, the final person that wants to do the trans transaction. So I believe with time, we'll be able to understand this, but this is not where I'm really going. 
we, uh, another, another, another thing that you have to, to understand is the reliance is reli reliable. And we have to understand that there is, no too, is, there is no too much generation of energy and too much of resources and, co and cost. We have spoken about that. I'm moving quickly now to the, the, the area of the ledger. My, okay, now another, another thing that we have to understand about this blockchain is, is a decentralized ledger. What do we mean by decentralized ledger? Nobody is having hold upon it. So, and it is publicly transparent. So this is what this, guy, this uh, figure is showing you right now. Alice is trying to send money to Bob. Alice is in America, Bob is in Britain, and he's trying to receive message. All this, all this transaction we go, the ledger we go through all those people that you see in that, in that circle, but as much as they are in the same circle and the ledger is public, is public, is still decentralized. Nobody has a hold. Nobody like the banks that we are using today, like the government system of today, the Bank of, the bank of America belongs to a set of people that is holding everybody into ransom. The Bank of Hong Kong is the same thing. And I have to say this, many countries now are moving now in the, into, into, into this next level of blockchain and, and, and uh, NFT as we are going to be uh, discussing very, very soon. So like I, what I've been saying, it's a decentralized ledger whereby it is secured. So the information we are letting to know is blockchain is secure. And all the major transactions you are seeing today is because of the security of blockchain. For the first time ever in 2009, we are able to have the first uh, 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 in digital currency that you call crypto, cryptocurrency that most people call Bitcoin. Sorry, blockchain is not Bitcoin. You have to understand that. Blockchain is just the foundation from where Bitcoin grows from. Bitcoin is just a, a financial part of, of blockchain. And this, the digitalization of this is possible. Because you, so <coughs> I believe you are, you are with me. We are moving now to the most Yes. Very important thing about the blockchain that would let, lead us to, to uh, NFT. Uh, permit me. Blockchain is not Bitcoin. I believe you are with me. Uh, there is what we call the Gardner blockchain spectrum. I'm trying to get you to get you. Yeah. If you are with me now. Sorry for that. The Gartner blockchain spectrum in 2010, within 2010 to 2020, the internet of content begins. That is the, the blockchain inspire the internet of content, whereby there is, because of the security of blockchain, we are able to have what we call the content, internet of content, whereby content becomes viable and, and had value. Your, your content, that is the information you have, you can put it together and sell it. The information you have can be processed and bring services to other people. That is where we begin to have different uh, e-commerce and all those things that we are we're enjoying during that space of that time. So, and it lead us to, to uh, it also lead us to different inspiration like Uber and all those things that we are enjoying now. But now we are moving from 2020 Internet has moved because of blockchain. It has moved to what we call Internet of Value. A complete, a complete blockchain gives us an Internet of Value. Internet of Value is whereby now your concession now brings value, and that leads us to the Internet of the Internet, the Internet of Enhancement. Now your concession, that is your consent, can give you money. That is where we come to what we call NFT. Hello, 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 hello. Please, can hello. we, you have to stop here, sir. You have exceeded your time. <laughs> Don't, give me, Don't give me two minutes to land up, sir. No, 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 no. We are not going to talk about NFT now. Because, oh, okay, okay, okay. yeah, we, 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 a lot of people are going. We said it's going to be one hour. And uh, all right, maybe, all right. maybe the next no, no, time no, no, we are going no, to do it. All right. Thank you. Focus. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. We really enjoy it. I think... We have to ask, we have to take questions now. 
because it, we just want it to be one hour. And you know, now you can see that our, our people, they have a lot to say. Whether, because these people, they have knowledge on what they are talking about. From Crypto Mama to David Agbola, now David Ayeni, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have knowledge about this thing. Everyone was. Then Ajibade was, could not join us tonight because of one thing or the other, but he's going to join us on the next meeting. Because we want us to, well, we, the, the purpose of this meeting is to open our eyes to see that, look, when we are talking of investment, uh, cryptocurrency investment beats any other investment hands down. And I want to talk to, and, and, I, and I mentioned it, it briefly that um, why you won't be able to scam. You know, when people say, okay, let us, let us trade for you. Uh, we are doing mining, uh, this and that. No, 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 no. We are going to, we are going to, we are going to eat your money. The only thing you can do is to buy and hold, buy and hold. And I, I always tell people when I told people in, uh, see my my friend in uh, in the ship sleeping. When I told them, I even told him also. I said, look, buy SRP. Just keep it. Let's keep it for four years. Just buy 1,000 SRP, if not for the, for, the, for the court case of SRP, which they are going to win eventually, because American government have nothing on them, which they are going to win eventually. The day they win that battle like this, that, 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 even despite that, it has even doubled the price that we bought that time. You understand it? So don't let me take your time, because people, are, people want to leave. Please, we want questions. We want questions. So Espad are here tonight to answer your question. Please, if you have any question, just, just raise up your hand. There's a way where you can raise up your hand here. Or just unmute yourself and let's hear what you have to say. We want to take questions from, let's say from three people before we round up tonight. They are here, our Espad are still here. They want to answer your questions. Please, can you ask questions tonight? Questions? Okay, if there's no question, I'm, I'm going to ask them questions, our speakers. I will start from uh, Kenny Adibawale. Now, I'm asking Kenny Adibawale now, what do you think, Ma, will be the future of cryptocurrency for the next five years. Thank you. Yeah. The future of the cryptocurrency for the next five years is unimaginable. It's something that is beyond comprehension. I'm going to read something to us. Um, I'm coming. Okay. Somebody posted this. And it says that last year, Bitcoin returned 280%. Gold returned minus 17%. <laughs> last decade, Bitcoin returned 469,482%. Gold returned 3%. So it is something that has come to stay. It is something that everybody must take that advantage. If not for these uh, people like uh, Tesla that will come out and say whatever they want to say just to just to steer the water that make the the price to go down. And at that time, people were like, they were calling me, what do we do? I said, just leave it there because it's still coming back. And it went down to 28,000. Today it's over $40,000 and it's still going up. So whenever we see any rock like that or deep like that, we don't, uh, we don't have to fear. All we need to do is, to, like you said, if you can hold it, leave it there, you will make your money. It's only, it's only investment. 
that can yield so much that can make one to become millionaire in a tinkle of a line. That's the only investment. No other investment can do that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love that. I love that. Um, David Agbola, what do you think will happen in the next five years in the crypto world? Uh, thank you for this uh, uh, question. In fact, if it's like you are, somebody's asking you that uh, when, how, how much of the way man can build to reach God. <laughs> because in the next five years, uh, crypto will bring living to color hmm. for people. In the sense that I was watching, I was reading a journal that says that only 0.5% of the benefit has been tapped in cryptocurrency. Hmm. That means there is still a long beneficiary way to go. I wanted to say this. You remember there was one coin that I bought one time that I told you that it gave me 2,700% profit. Hmm. I bought it. That coin, when it started, they, are, they came out, I just bought it at 0, 0.00 something cent. By the time it started moving, it moved up to $12. Wow. From 00, 00 point something that I bought it. Now, that is to let us know, that is one. Look at, I was on a coin market, Coin markets uh, predict when Bitcoin is going to reach 20,000. And I predicted it that uh, on the 16th of April, you remember after last year, that mm -hmm. on the 16th of this, that the Bitcoin is going to reach. And you can see that same day, it's only that I didn't got the time. That was the reason why I didn't win it. But that same day, that he went to 20,000 was the day he went to 30,000. That is to let us know that, uh, you see, a cryptocurrency has come to bring value to humanity. Hmm. That is what I see to it, that uh, in the next five years or 10 years, value for humanity on term, in terms of bringing the best out of man is coming forth. Because with cryptocurrency, there is unlimited, it's like we say a man wants to build a house to reach heaven. We can see that there is a lot of gap that he has to cover because cryptocurrency is bringing much more value to the world. Even those who are speaking against it, they are crawling in inside little by little to see that, ah, that is why we have missed it. So I want to encourage everyone that uh, if you have not started, it's never too late. One can start now. Like we used to say those days that the uh, internet, the ground is level. Anytime you come in, you come in. You can still find space. It's, it's enough to accommodate everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, want to, David. Sorry, I... sorry sir, before you proceed. Yes. Can I ask that brother a question? What is the name of the coin that you got zero 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 something that you now was twelve dollar? Uh is uh they call it uh, what is his name now? Some uh N NST. NST. Okay, okay, I know the coin. NST? Uh, yeah. Is this still on the market? Yeah, it's still on the market. It went down now because of the, you remember that immediately the Bitcoin goes down, all others also went down. But when the time it went up, it went up to $12. Yeah. Okay. And the reason is because that, comp, you know, they have their own, uh, uh, what is it called? Ecosystem. Uh, 
Yeah, they have their own ecosystem. Or they have their own just, blockchain. Do they have their own just, blockchain? Yeah. Yeah, I think they have their own blockchain. What you like, said. Just to yes. buttress what you said. Just to buttress mm. what you said. In November, December, I bought uh, Dogecoin for uh, the first one I bought was $30, and the second one was $50, $20, making $50 November, mm. December. By April, by April, May, I sold that $50 for over $5,000. Yo. <laughs> wow. Just to buttress what you said. Wow. And then there was another person that I was told that he bought Dogecoin of 1000 By the time he sold that Dogecoin, he made over $30,000. Mm. Wow. That so is... this thing is real. Yeah. Mm. That's why, that's why, that's why, I don't know, thank God for you people that are into computer and all that. Please, anytime you see any coin like that, like the one you said you bought for 000, and the thing mm. went to $12, please share this information with us. These are the things that we can, we can buy $10, $20, $30, and before you know it, you can make, you can turn to a fortune for everybody. Please, let's share it together. All right. All right thanks. Now let's okay. let's quickly because the last um, David Ayani, please you have three minutes. Okay. Three uh, minutes please. to answer uh, this question. What is the future of NFT? Because you are you, sharing sir. some dangerous thing with me in the afternoon about all NFT. Right, I'm going to give you the future, but first of all, let me say this: like uh, 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 Sister Kenny is talking. Please, this is why we have this community. Let's hook together on this community. We've been sending some information to you. Be a part of this community and you will get a lot of information. Quickly, the future of NFT. For, I'm going to talk about 2C. The first C I'm going to talk about is your, conce your concession. That is, it's time for you to begin to make money by your consent. The government, the, the banking industry have been using your consent and you have not made any money. I'm telling you, go and write this down. You, how can I make money with my consent? It is critical. Under NFT, your consent is so powerful. Your, where you belong to, it's so powerful. And the second C is creativity. In, your future is now. I'm seeing the five years today. How creative are you? When you come on NFT platform, your creativity can turn around ordinary one picture. I was watching a, a, a lady's uh, uh, a clip today. She was just around six or seven year old. He took a picture of their house when it was burning. They call it. They call her disaster, disaster girl. And she, 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 she did the NFT and made that picture. And that picture gave him close to half a million dollars. If you want, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you need that information, contact me after this or contact the the, the moderator. I'm going to send it to you. So for you. You to understand what we are talking about. Okay, Simple creativity can land you in, in, a, in, a, in wealth. And that is what you need now. What I'm talking about, consent. Without your consent, dollar will not be dollar. Without your consent, rand will not be rand. It's because you agree. And what you, are, what you agree on is not fetching you anything. Actually, they are using you. So there's a lot of things to be done. Some of us, I'm telling you, on this NFT now, we have NFT people that are, 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 are melting. Uh, 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 um, NF, NF, uh, this American football uh, pictures. Some people are minting uh, uh, band, uh, uh, Bonders League pictures. Some people are min minting ordinary, what we call crypto punk. Crypto punk is, is the leading in the world now. People, you know, a lot of things that you cannot even believe. So we don't have much time. Your future is now. I want to go and do an assignment about how can I make use of my consent because consent is very critical way to make money. And your future is now. Don't think it's tomorrow. Don't think it's not only about money. Be in the right community. Be in the right people. You need the right information that, so that you can, you can move forward. And I believe this is a, like the, our, our, all our other conversations have been saying, it is now. Make sure you are part of what is going on now. Education is very important. Get yourself informed. And you're going to be the next millionaire we're going to be talking about. Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, everybody. This is where we're going to close this meeting tonight. I'm re I really enjoyed this section. 
And I, and I know that in the next maybe one week or two, we are going to do another one. And I want you to invite your friends and uh, to be partaker of these things because we are using it to open the eyes of people. And uh, in Africa, poverty has, has led people to a lot of things. They have led them to be doing money ritual. They have led them to be doing yahoo yahoo. They have led them to do all manner of things. But I want to tell you, when I was sharing this thing to somebody one day about the future of cryptocurrency, he, the, the guy was so excited. And he said, ah, ah, so sir. And people are killing one another to make money where the easiest way to make money is right there on the internet where you don't even need to scam anybody. He said this one, he now said it in the, he said this one is, 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 he now said it in Yoruba, ah, Baba, <laughs> that means this one is, <laughs> is better than being a robber <laughs> or a 419. <laughs> you understand it? So, and I thank everybody that are here tonight. And I'm so excited that a lot of people are here tonight from Nigeria, from, from South Africa, from Captain, my friend that is on the ship, that is also joining us there. I really appreciate everybody tonight. This thing is on recording. We are going to send the recording to everybody. Please just, before we go, just type your, your phone number, your WhatsApp number here so that we'll be able to send you the link for the video and the link to get your 10 coin because we are giving everybody 10 kingdom coin tonight. So we are giving everybody 10 kingdom coin. Even if you are bought, it doesn't matter. We're still going to give you 10. So just please leave to, I will leave this place for just about three minutes. Leave, just put down your WhatsApp number. Just type it, send it so that at the end of the day, we'll send all this thing to you. Thank you so much. So I've given you us two minutes to put that, to put that one down so that we'll be able to, to get your number and um, I need more messages. I only saw three now, three new messages. Please drop your WhatsApp number. Do I have to drop mine? You have it already. Oh, not you. I'm talking to not the moderator, not the speakers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pastor Shino, I know your WhatsApp number. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 captain, my captain. <laughs> Shege, I have your, your number now. OK. So please, I'll give you two minutes more. Just drop it. So good night, everybody. Thank you are so you much. To, are you going to form the group chat so that we can have information of uh, upcoming currencies that people can take advantage of? Yes, 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 we'll do that. Yeah. All right. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.